Hi, hello, good morning everyone. This is Mr. M from Algebra Lessons. Today, in this video, we are discussing about tangent lines. Um, tangent lines are related to circles. So, we can start with drawing a circle and then we can define what is a tangent line is. Okay, so I have a circle here. Approximately, this is the center. And I am drawing a line uh, through this point. Let me change the color. Okay. So, I have a circle and I have a line here, circle with center P, and I have a line uh, A, come on sorry a b here so line a b line a b is touching the circle exactly in one point no more than one point exactly in one point okay so if a line is touching the circle only in one point we can call that line as a tangent to the given circle okay so here we have line a b that is touching the circle exactly at q so we can say that line a b is a tangent tangent line okay then what about this q we need to name q okay uh, so here the line is touching um, the circle only at Q. So we can call Q as the point of tangency. Point of tangency. These are the important points we need to uh, keep in mind when we uh, approach the tangent line um, theorems or postulates. Okay. Now, the first statement in the form of a theorem or postulate you can consider the first uh, statement is about the tangent line and the radius okay okay so if a line is tangent to a circle here a b is tangent to this circle with center p if a line is tangent to a circle then the line is perpendicular this line is tangent we already uh, assumed that this line is tangent if that line is tangent that line will be perpendicular to the radius of the radius of the circle this is the radius okay radius of the circle that means this angle will be 90 degree okay so that is uh, the first postulate so here a b is a line and q p is the radius so we can um, conclude the statement a b will be a b line a b will be perpendicular to uh, q p line a b will be perpendicular to q p this is the uh, first theorem we can reverse this theorem uh, like this if the line in the plane of the circle is perpendicular to the radius so if this line is perpendicular to this radius then we can say that this line is a tangent line first we assume that a b is a tangent line then we concluded that q p will be perpendicular in converse we are saying that if this line in the plane of the circle is perpendicular to the radius then that line is a tangent line okay okay we, we are moving on we are moving on to the next okay so i'm going to draw another circle This is a circle with center C and I am planning to draw uh, 
a line from this point. Let me draw. I'm sorry. Let me draw. Let me make this small and decent. Okay, assume. Assume. It is connected here. Okay, it is connected here. Let me name this. This is P, this is Q. And this is R. Okay, so uh, the rule or the theorem we are going to um, learn here is this. If two line segments, those are tangents. Okay, two line segments, those are tangents. From the picture itself, it is clear that those line segments are tangents. A line segments are P, R, and uh, Q, R, P, R, and Q, R. If two line segments that are tangents to the circle that is drawn from an external point to the circle will be congruent. Okay. So, the, the origin of these two line segments is same. R, R to P and R to Q. If you have two such line segments, if you draw uh, two of that line segments to a circle and those two lines are tangent to the circle, then we can conclude that those line segments will be congruent to each other. That means the distance, the distance from here till here, that means PR and QR will be same. This is the this is the rule uh, that we need to keep in mind. So we learn three things, sorry, two things. If you have two line segments drawn from an external point to a circle, then and if those two line segments are tangents, then the length of those two line segments till the uh, point of tangency will be exactly same. That is, those will be congruent. And the first piece we learned is this. If you have a circle and if you have a line that is tangent to that circle, then the line you can draw from the center of the circle to the point of tangency will be perpendicular to that line. So, these are the two theorems you can learn um, easily and keep this in mind for your uh, future geometry sessions. Thank you very much for watching this video. To get the next video about the chords of the circle, please share and subscribe and we can meet in the next video. Thank you.